Hey guys, welcome to another ranking. Here's my ranking of all the Hitman video games. Um, I gotta be very clear about this starting this video. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I never grew up with Hitman games. Like, this was never something I grew up with and I have nostalgia for. Uh, one day, uh, just literally a few weeks ago, I had a craving to play the Hitman games. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm not very familiar with them. I played two of them when I was younger. And I've seen the Hitman movie, which is not good. <laughs> but I, and I was never familiar with this franchise. And I didn't know where to start. I just didn't know. Like, I played the original one a long time ago. And I played a couple of them, the older ones. And I was just like, where do I start? And so on the PS4, I literally bought all the Hitman games I can can get. I, I bought Blood Money, Absolution. I bought all three of the Hitman games, the 2016 one, Hitman 2, Hitman 3. And I even went to my cousin's house and played one of the old school Hitman games that I haven't played yet, so I can play every single one of them. So my knowledge on the Hitman games and my nostalgia of the Hitman games go as far back as a couple weeks. Uh, I literally just uh, finished uh, Hitman 3 just recently. So uh, I don't have like an attachment to these games. So my favorite is going to be so different to a lot of people's. That's why... I, I wanted to get that out because I know a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia on these games. And I know a lot of people might call me out and say, you know what you're talking about. This game is better. This game is better. This one has a better story. This one has the better lore or whatever. Like, I know probably so many people are going to call me out because they're diehard Hitman fans. I'm not. I am now a Hitman fan because I played all these games. I played like, I played like seven Hitman games in the past couple of weeks. And... It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing these games, even the bad ones. Um, but I don't have that nostalgia, and I just don't. I, I didn't grow up with these games, and I don't know as much about these games as a lot of people. So, if my opinions you don't agree with them, then that's fine. Just when I play these games, these were my favorites. These were my least favorites. Just my opinion. All right, number ten, Hitman Sniper. This. Is such an unfair because it's a mobile game, and it's not even a good one. <laughs> I downloaded the mobile game on my phone and played a couple rounds, played like about an hour of it, see if it was good. Because I played some very fun mobile games. Like uh, I have Call of Duty mo mobile; it's fun. I, I really actually enjoy the mobile uh, Call of Duty game. I play Among Us on my phone; it's a lot of fun. Like there's a lot of mobile games that are really fun and really enjoyable to play. Uh, this one was not. Um, even when I, maybe it's because I'm not a sniper, like, usually when I play, like, COD or Siege or Halo, Gears of War, and Hitman, uh, I'm more like a guy who comes with the machine guns, or if I'm Hitman, I like to be a silent assassin, unseen assassin. Uh, the sniper just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it, just didn't like it, and just wasn't for me. Just, I, I got bored of it really quick, so easily my least favorite. Number nine is Hitman, codename 47. This was an original computer game a long time ago. I <laughs> thank God my cousin had this game on uh, had this game on him, and it was rough. I literally just played this a few weeks ago. Couldn't stand it. Just I know maybe people have nostalgia for it. It's too dated for me. It's too wonky for me. I hate the story. I hate the controls. I hate the gameplay. This is just not a game I like. Uh, at least it's a full game on the Hitman Sniper. I just got bored because it's just a silly little mobile game. But this is a full game. I give it that. And maybe it, during its time period, it was a lot of fun. For me, it was painful. I just I couldn't. I, I didn't like it. I played a couple hours. I was done with it. Just couldn't stand it. Number eight is Hitman Contracts. Uh, Hitman Contracts is another one I also played. Uh, again, my cousin, he's a huge Hitman fan, so he has all these games. Uh, again, it's another game I just I could not get in. I don't know. I, uh, some of these older Hitman games I just can't get into. I, they're overly dated. They're very silly controls. Don't like the gameplay. I don't even like some of the voice work of Hitman Agent 47. Uh, I don't like the maps or the locations. Some of the weapons are kind of cool. Some of the ideas are really cool. Just these, are just, I don't like them. They're so hard to get into. And I, I, I think you just have to be someone who has nostalgia for them and someone who grew up with them, especially with some of these older games. Because I know a lot of people have said they play like some of the old school Spyro games and they don't understand why people love them. And I love them. I love the old school PS1 Spyro games. Like, I fucking love those games. I still can play the old school PS1 Spyro games. They're amazing, especially Final Fantasy VII as well for the PS1. 
Hey, Stormy. Uh, but, yeah, I, just, I couldn't get into contracts. It, it, it's a little more tolerable than the first one, but not much. Number seven. I mean, it's so much hate. Number seven is Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. A lot better than the first one. A lot better. The stealth technique is awesome, and uh, you can be more stealthier in more easier ways. I kept getting caught every time I played the first one. Everyone, I kept getting spotted. This one was a little easier. The disguises were a lot cooler. It's still got that clunky, dated feeling to it. It's just, it's, I don't know. It just, it feels weird playing it, especially when I played the newer ones first and then just slowly downgrading. It's just, it's horrible. And uh, I hated the villain. Uh, I hated some of the outcomes of this story and couldn't get into it. Just didn't like it very much. Number six, this is another one that's going to piss people. This is, I heard a lot of people's favorites. Like, I heard that. This was the first one I played. This is the very first one I played when I bought all the Hitman games. When I bought all the Hitman games a few weeks ago, this is the very first one I played. That was Hitman Blood Money. I played this one because it, 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 everyone said it was their favorite. And I think it was for the PS3, PS3 days, yeah. Uh, there's some stuff I like. I I love the, the clown party, dressing up, dressing up as the clown at the birthday party. Super great. Some of the lines are funny. Some of the writing gets a lot more funnier. And it has more of a dark sense of humor than a lot of the Hitman games. That's really cool. Uh, uh, the ending level, the final level, is great. It still has that dated feeling, though. I still don't like how they do the health bar. I don't like the weapons you start off with. I think sometimes it's overly difficult. It's one of the hardest Hitman games. And it's almost frustrating doing some levels. And I know if they patched some of these levels, it would be a lot easier. But it's super difficult to get through them. I'm like, oh my god, this is annoying. The glitches are just irritating sometimes. Uh, again, it still has that dated feel to it. And I'm not, I, I don't want to harp on all these games for being dated. I just I don't want to. That's the only thing I caught on them is because I don't have, again, I don't have that nostalgia for them. Just, uh, I was trying so hard to have fun with all of them, and I just didn't. This one I really wanted to love. And honestly, after I played this one and beat it, I didn't even want to... Uh, and I actually enjoyed myself. Like, I didn't hate this game. Uh, I had fun with it. And it was decent. I thought it was a decent game. But I didn't even want to continue because I'm just like, I don't know. It seems like a chore. But I got to a certain one and I have started to love these games. Number five, Hitman Go. I liked this game. Uh, it was interesting. And this game I actually played last year, actually. I played it a long time ago. Uh, a year ago, I guess. <laughs> uh, it was an easy platinum. I was on a platinum streak, and I chose this one to play as a platinum. And Storm is eating something. Hold on a sec. Storm, what are you doing? You're eating paper. Stop that. This cat. Uh, <laughs> um, you, you can see her right to there behind me. Look at that. She's always up to no good. You, you're always up to no good. Anyways, um, Hey Man Go is just a simple puzzle game, and I actually quite enjoyed it. It was very easy platinum, and I like a puzzle game. I like a good uh, game that I can, like, you know, think and strategize. I like a good strategy puzzle game, and the score is really Hitman. It has the atmosphere of a Hitman game, and I quite enjoyed it. It's so bad that this was, like, a, only a two-and-a-half-hour game, and I had a lot more fun strategizing and solving these puzzles more than the actual classic Hitman games that everyone loves. All those amazing classic Hitman games, I was a lot more bored <laughs> playing than this simple little strategic puzzle game, which is kind of sad, really. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Don't hate me. But I like Hitman Go. Number four, Hitman 2016. Uh, the problem I have with a lot of the newer Hitman games is that they're spread out in seasons and not like full big stories, but Hitman 2016 has good visuals. I love the voice of Asian 47. The locations are cool. Uh, the prologue is great. Um, there's a couple of things you can do and a couple of people you can dress up as. is pretty fucking hilarious. Uh, and it's just an all-around solid game. The weapons are cool. The looks is, is very nice. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play. And I enjoyed myself. It was actually a game I'm like, you know what? I'm having a good time. Hitman 3. It, Hitman 3. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I'm too tired. Number three is Hitman 3. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, Hitman 3 is very good. It is basically Hitman 2, 
but with better visuals <laughs> and cool maps and stuff. Uh, really cool story, really cool intel you can get in this in this uh, Hitman game. Uh, very big. The scope is really huge. Uh, super fun stuff you can do. Everything that you love about Hitman and the missions and the assassinations you can do, they're just awesome and just beautiful to look at in Hitman 3. So that's why, yeah, it's a good time. Number two is Hitman 2. Hitman 2 is the best out of the three new Hitman games. The reason is is because it has the best missions and it has the best maps. I love maps like uh, Haw Hawks Bay. I like my Miami. Mumbai is great. New Paris is great. Um, I like the one where you can feed the guy to the hippopotamus. Forget what that level is. Great. There's some great levels. Really cool Easter eggs like Tomb Raider and Uncharted. It's just a fucking blast of a game, and just, I, I love every I love every second of playing it, man, too. So it was just a personal favorite. Number one, I don't know if ever, anyone will even agree with me, but it is my favorite. Hitman Absolution is my favorite. I played this right after Blood Money, and I called myself a Hitman fan after playing this game because I fucking loved it. Every second of this game I loved. Uh, some people say it doesn't feel like a full Hitman game. It has the best story. The story is fantastic. The writing is really good. The voice actor is fantastic. Uh, the stealth uh, of the Hitman is great. It is the only Hitman game with the exception of Hitman Go. I actually get, got a platinum trophy doing this because I actually wanted to take my time and play this game on all these difficulties. Uh, it's so fun. Uh, I like how you can play some of the different rounds and maps in certain ways. Uh, the challenges are great. The assassination techniques are great. The disguises are fantastic. And the ending is super satisfying, what you can do to the final guy. It's, it's pretty great. Um, just I loved everything about Hitman and Absolution. I found it the best story, the best writing, the best action. It was just so kick-ass. And I was super invested. And I literally beat this in two days and platinum in it. Platinum trophy did in three days. And just the time flew by playing this game. I loved it so much. So, yeah, it's my favorite Hitman game. So, yeah, that was my ranking of the Hitman video games. They were a good time playing. Um, I never was a Hitman fan, but I, I am now because I played them all, and most were enjoyable. Enjoyable. Some were super old and dated, but still enjoyable. So yeah, that was my ranking of all the Hitman games. I know I'm wrong. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to call me out and say I'm wrong. So that's what the comments section below is for. Uh, what is your ranking of all the Hitman games and your guys' opinion from your least favorite to your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the Ducks.